falling for a guy who initially seems to be deeply interested in you, where you feel really seen and sparks are definitely flying, but then start slowly pulling away is not just confusing, but can be gut-wrenching. When this happens, women tend to do one of three things that typically create more pain. So what I'm doing today in this video is sharing with you the real reasons why guys pull away and the number one highest value move you can make if this happens to you. When a guy connects with you and you're not really into him and he starts pulling away, it's so easy to say, next, I'm moving on. But when a guy your heart determines might be the one, when you start feeling chemistry, when you start feeling something beyond just a peripheral connection, then it's much harder to move away from him. And it's very easy to think that you did something wrong or worse, there's something wrong with you. So I want to dispel the myth of what really happens when a guy stops connecting with you so you can feel more confidence in yourself. I also want to share what not to do because most women tend to react in one of three ways. And I want to make sure you avoid those because those are, those are going to give the opposite of the result that you want and then show you Depending upon the situation you're experiencing, what is the highest leverage, what is the highest value, what is the best move you can make to make sure you convey your high value while also expressing your needs. The first reason why some men stop connecting with women is because they are addicted to the chase. They love that excitement, that chemical cocktail of sorts that takes place between Two human beings will spark fly and some guys don't have the capacity, don't have the intention of actually moving things along, but they are really addicted to that feeling. And when they experience that with a woman and then that feeling eventually biologically fades down a little bit or fades down a lot, then they're left with nothing. They're left with, well, I need to have this high again. So the only way for me to experience that is to go for somebody else and start the chase all over again. So that's one reason why some men are always connecting with women at the beginning of the sparks and then letting go. The second reason why guys stop connecting with you is because they're not really into you and they don't have the words or the courage to express it. Now, this doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. It just means that that guy is looking for something else. And it could be something as simple as you want a real relationship and he doesn't. Or it might mean that there's some values that are a mismatch. It might be that he has a different sense of life than you do without having to say, hey, I need to make a shift. He starts pulling away, hoping that you won't notice. The third reason why guys pull away beyond the honeymoon experience that I just explained is because they're playing a game. And the game is, I want to be validated once they create the hook, once they create a feeling of, uh, I need this guy in my life, then they want to be validated emotionally. They want for you to start doing some of the pursuit or the chase. If you're not aware of this and your nervous system starts activated and start moving along those lines, then he gets what he needs, but he's never really intending consciously. Some guys are unconscious about this. He's never really intending to create a true relationship. The fourth reason why guys pull away is because sometimes they have an intention. They genuinely want to create a relationship, but they're lacking the skills. They're lacking the skills of connecting with someone. They're lacking the skills of deepening intimacy. They're lacking the skills of making a commitment that requires some level of sacrifice or compromise. So they have the willingness, but they don't have the legs to run that marathon they're pulling themselves into. And rather than saying, I'm finding myself incapable of continuing because that creates a feeling of shame, that creates a feeling of guilt sometimes, they just start pulling away. Now, before I share my last one, but also what not to do and what to do instead. If you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you may be aware of the symptom, but not the root cause while you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of guiding women to create amazing relationships with men of the kind they've maybe never had before in a short amount of time. And I put together a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds. That's going to reveal to you the elusive answer to the question, why you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first one in the description. You will see a page that looks like this. In six seconds or so, you'll have the answer to the question, why you're still single, and a custom report that's going to share with you based on your specific blind spot, what is the number one thing you can do today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Reason number five, why guys pull away, they're afraid of emotional intimacy. They want maybe the physical connection because it seems easier. They've learned that that's a way to be validated. It's a way to express emotions, but they don't have what it takes emotionally to create 
create something that feels intimate where they can be seen, they can be really heard, and they can be abandoned in some way. So if a guy is afraid of that ever happening, he's going to create this avoidant type of relationship where you can get close, but not really close. When you're about to get closer to him, he feels this feeling of, if I get too close, I might get my heart broken. I might be abandoned by her. She might really see who I am when she realizes who I am. I'm not enough. So he'll act in a way without even consciously thinking about it that creates this distance. And then he can go along his entire life if he's not acknowledging this, creating relationships that are short-lived or it might even be medium term live, but always have this ending when the intimacy is about to get stronger. Now, I'm going to give you a bonus one. And this bonus one is so important that I need to underline it and I need you to really pay attention to it. Some guys pull away because they are confused. And I've always shared this. And you can look back to videos from years and years ago. A confused man is more dangerous than the bad guy that you run away from. Why? Because the bad guy is easier to identify. The confused guy, you might fall for the trick and then his confusion leads to never taking the next step forward. So when you connect with a guy who shares with you, he's not quite sure what's happening. He's not in the best space to start a relationship. Believe him. Don't think that you'll show him differently. Don't think that you're going to be the one who changes his heart, you probably won't. But he's definitely going to create this sense of connection with you that's going to be very challenging for you to let go of. Now, what should you not do? The first thing I urge you to not do is to avoid thinking it's your fault. Many women, the first thing that happens when a guy pulls away is say, I did it. I said the wrong thing or I acted the wrong way or I wasn't feminine enough. Granted, there's going to be times where that's the situation, but many times it has nothing to do with you. So if you take a step back and really think things through, you might realize that the guy never really intended to have a relationship, that he was scared of intimacy, that he wasn't able to express his needs in a powerful way. And that means that you're dodging a bullet more than leaving golf on the tape. Second thing you should not do is ignore it. When you connect with a guy and you feel that connection and just ignore it, and then he comes back and you leave him space to enter your life again, he's just learning that he can do this. That's kind of the thing with you. You allow this to happen. You're not acknowledging it, he kind of gets that the training from you that that's acceptable. Third thing you shouldn't do is going to chasing mode, going to the mode of pursuing him, chasing him, thinking that you have to pull him into your life so that he starts acting better. Typically when you do that, guys are going to run away because when guys are doing this, they have this play inside that's saying, well, that might be the thing I'm looking for. And if you don't do that, they might recognize that they have to continue showing up if they want an intimate relationship. So here's the kicker of this whole video, what to do. There's going to be two situations that I'm going to frame right now and share with you the number one action you can take to keep your high value and to make sure that you're expressing your needs. The first one is going to be simple, not necessarily easy. I want you to take into account the type of connection you have with a guy. If in your heart of hearts, you determine this is a guy who clearly doesn't want a relationship. This is a guy who seems more of like the player type, exciting, but not good for you, then move on. But before you move on, set the terms. And by that, I mean, do something that's going to help you even when he reaches out and he might later on not hook you back in. And that means something along the lines of sending a simple message. You don't have to call him even if he's not showing up and say, hey, John, let's say his name. I want to thank you so much for showing up in my life. I've decided that this is not the best fit for us right now. So I'm going to move on. I wish you the best going forward. Simple and swift. Don't get hooked back in. If you know the guy is not good for you in your heart of hearts, but you're kind of playing around the edges. Don't do that. Second situation, which is more of a gray area. This is a guy that you feel has some good qualities. This is a guy who initially shared he wanted an intimate relationship. That's not just physical. This is a guy that you feel checks some of your boxes, but now he's moving away. Then the thing to do is to be vulnerable. Be vulnerable means that you might reach out. This might be a simple message or this might be a conversation. If you can muster a conversation, great. Saying, hey, I'd love to talk to you about something that I'm experiencing. Let me know if you have five minutes. That's all it's going to take. Even less than that. If you don't feel you can do that, then a message would be acceptable as well. And that's where you say, hey, I'm feeling a little confused. I was getting the feeling that we have a lot of things in common and things were going a certain way. I'm feeling you're pulling away and I don't want to put any pressure on you to continue showing up. At the same time, I'm not sure what to make of this. What happens when you share that? If the guy is honorable, if the guy is intelligent, if he wants a real relationship, he's basically going to have to step up to the plate and say, here's the truth. Right now, I'm busy with this or here's the truth. I'm scared or here's the truth. You know what? I messed up. Let me make it up to you. You don't ignore it. You don't say, please come back to me. You don't say, my life will not be the same if you're not here. You're just saying, hey, I feel there's a connection and there's a mismatch between the way you were showing up and the way you're showing up now. And I'm a little confused, but you mind sharing with me what's going on? 
that type of communication is going to put you in a place where you have standards, you have a high sense of value in yourself. If he doesn't respond, if he ignores it, if he deflects it, if he puts it back on you, then you know what you need to do. Hope this is helpful and useful and insightful. If it is, it would mean the world to me and to my channel. If you share it with someone you love and you click on subscribe, because that's how I can grow and reach more women who need this. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation games or stupid techniques, make sure to go to the next video right here.